Hello friends, welcome back to another art class based on a book. The book that we are basing our art lesson off this week is The Dot by Peter Reynolds. This is one of my favorite books. I love to read this in art class because I think it has such a great message, which is about just trying something and giving it your best shot. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. But you gotta push through and keep working and keep trying to make something really great. So in the story, Vashti doesn't think that she can draw very well. And her teacher is like, just try, just make a mark, any mark. So we are going to use that idea in our artwork today, making works of art based off of a mark that we make. Also in Vashti's world, she creates so many works of art based on her mark that she has an art show. And in the art show, all of her dots are hung up for everyone to see. So we're not just making one work of art today. We're going to make a bunch of different versions of our artwork so that we can have our own mini art show in our house. So let's get started. All right, friends, we are going to start making our own artwork based off of the book, The Dot. Remember in the book, The Dot, Vashti at first thinks that she isn't good at art or that she doesn't know what to draw or can't come up with any ideas. But then her art teacher encourages her just to make a mark on the paper. So we are going to use that as our inspiration to make our own masterpieces based off of just a random mark that we will make on our paper. So I have a bunch of different sizes or two sizes of paper here. I've got these smaller ones. This is just one sheet cut into four sections. And then I have a couple larger pieces of paper. I'm going to use one of my smaller papers and a marker. And I'm just going to make a mark. It can be any mark. If you want to do a dot like Vashti did, you can. If you want to do kind of a line, how the little boy at the end of the story made a squiggly line, you can do that. I am going to just make a mark. There's my mark. So using this, I am going to create a bunch of different versions of that shape, just like Vashti made a bunch of different versions of her dot. So when she has her art show, she used that dot to inspire all of these different types of artworks. So I'm going to do the same thing using my shape. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start with another small piece of paper. And on this piece of paper, I am just going to try to make a different version of my shape using some of my art materials that I have at my house. So I'm gonna start with oil pastel. And this shape, I think I can make it bigger it looks like a sock and then inside I can add different designs or different shapes so I'm going to make some lines maybe I use this to make some circles so now I've made a different version of the mark that I made when I just used my marker. And I'm gonna keep going and just make as many different shape or designs like this, as unique as I can make them on different pieces of paper. So I'm gonna use a large sheet now. And this time I'm gonna use watercolors. If you don't have watercolors, you can also use markers. So I'll show you how you can do that first. This is something I've been showing people a lot lately is using markers. So I'm going to make my shape. This time I'm going to make it bigger. Whoa, that is so big. And then to turn this into watercolor, I'm going to use a brush with just some water on it. And if I go on top, it starts to turn my marker into watercolor. We did this in our egg lesson. If you guys did the great escape lesson with me, we used markers for as watercolor in that too. But a lot of you might have your actual, like real watercolors at your house. So I'm gonna use those for the rest of this shape. So I'm gonna get my brush wet, make sure I wipe my extra water off on the lip of my cup or give it a little tap on my paper towel. And then I'm going to choose a color. Remember, we always go in the same direction on our color so we don't mess up the bristles and we don't mess up the paint. And then I'm just going to paint some shapes in this. 
Remember, sometimes we have to get our brush wet again when we're using watercolors because it'll get too dry. And then our color gets all kinds of scratchy and it doesn't look very nice. So you can just keep filling in. The goal is to make a bunch of different versions of the same shape. This gives us some inspiration. Sometimes I think I sit down to do art and if I'm thinking too hard about what I want to make, my ideas get stuck and then I can't really come up with anything. People who write books or papers call that writer's block. I think it can also be called artist block. Sometimes you just want to make something so badly that you can't even come up with an idea. So this is a way that you can get some ideas just by making a mark like Vashti did in the book and then trying to make all kinds of different works of art only using that mark. All right, so I've got two different versions now. I'm gonna set this one aside to dry and I'm gonna keep making more. In the book, Vashti made a dot by not making a dot, which I think is a really fun way to think about making artwork. So we are going to do that next, make our design without making the design. So in the book, she paints all around and then leaves the white of the paper to be the dot. So we're gonna do that with our shape too. So I'm gonna use watercolors again, because I think it's more fun. And in hers, she used a bunch of dots around the outside. So I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So the first thing you're gonna do is get your brush wet and paint with just the water, the shape that you made, just the outline. And you probably can't see this on my video, but when you do it in real life, you'll be able to see because there will be a little, the paper will get shiny where you've put the water. And I'm gonna paint water on the outside of my shape, leaving the inside of my shape dry. You wanna do this kind of quick because the water will dry and then it won't work with the paint. All right, so now I'm going to get my brush wet and start using some colors and I'm just gonna polka dot them on top of the water around my shape. Get another color. This works best if you use colors that are kind of close to each other. So the warm colors, you guys should know what the warm colors are. Remember those are red, orange, and yellow. Those go good together. And the cool colors, which are purple, blue, and green, those go really good together when you do this too. Okay, you can see my shape is starting to show up. Get some blue. Ooh, the blue is so pretty on here. And then when I do cool colors like this, sometimes I'll use a little bit of yellow because yellow doesn't look too bad with these colors. But I got some green in mine. I gotta clean that out. There we go. All right, and now I've made my shape by not making my shape. Set that off to dry. Let's do another. This time I'm going to use just markers. I've used a lot of cool colors. I'm gonna do it a little different. So when I did my watercolor on my big paper, I made it nice and big. This time I think I'm gonna make it kind of skinny. So I'm gonna make a really skinny version of my shape. And I'm gonna flip it this way. See if that gives me any more inspiration. Do some zigzaggies. I think a zigzag is my favorite line. Do you have a favorite line? Some people love squigglies or curlies, straight lines, diagonal lines. I love a zigzag makes me feel like happy and I want to dance. 
actually have some oil pasta. Remember when we're coloring in a shape, it's a good idea to outline it first and then color that in. That gives you kind of like a, a fence or a border so that you don't scribble outside the lines you just drew. So I think it would be cool if you guys challenged yourself to see how many different ways you can draw your mark that you made. Just like Vashti, she just drew a dot, but she made all kinds of different artworks because of that dot. And all of them were dots. They were just big and little and really colorful and painted and drawn all over the place. So now I'm gonna watercolor back here because I haven't done a background yet. So I'm gonna use a bigger brush. I've done warm colors in here, so it might be kind of neat to do some cool colors out here so that it, what we call contrast. Contrast means you have two different things close to each other, so they both stand out. It's like white and black are very different, and when we put them together, they both stand out. So using warm colors and then cool colors, they contrast or stand out next to each other. And I am just going to make a bunch of this shape in the background, I think. All right, so I've got four different versions of this mark that I've made. And I think I'll do one more small one. And then we'll all look at our finished ones together. So for the small one, I think I'm just going to fill this up. with a bunch of little versions of my shape. And then using my paintbrush, I'm just going to trace over them with water. And this is going to do that watercolor thing that I think looks so cool, but it's just going to do it a little bit so they still stand out. I'm gonna try to do all the same color at once so they don't mix. All right, so I have made, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different versions of just this simple mark that I made. Now, I think it would be so fun if we all hung up our different versions of our marks to make a kind of art show, just like Vashti did in the book. So she hung all of her dots together. So I think it would be so neat if you guys made a bunch of different versions of your mark and hung them up somewhere in your house and took a picture and sent it to me or Miss Hirash. Or you could just lay it somewhere on a table. That's probably what I'll do. And I'll put a picture up so you guys can see my mini art show made from my mark and you guys can make a mini art show from your mark. All right, I hope you guys had fun with that. I think it's a great way for us to make works of art that help get our brain flowing and might lead to more ideas in the future for us to make some more interesting works of art. Um, I would love to see all of your artwork, a picture or um, a video of your artwork laid out or hung up just like Vashi did for her art show. Um, and even the little mark that you made at first, if we hang them all together, I think it could be really cool. So if you guys do a miniature art show at your house and you want to send me a picture, or um, send Miss Harash a picture, she'll send it to me. I would love to see what you guys make. I will see you again soon for another art lesson based on a book.